In a poorly furnished room with dim lights, we are confronting the back of a sitting woman. She faces away from a spectator and refuses to interact. The doors are open, but we still don't know what's behind them and where it will lead us to. We can sense the undercurrent of alienation and mystery. I can assure many of you would be like me, not dare to disturb the moment, but still are irresistibly drawn to the space the artist created. This artist is one of the most important Scandinavian painters, Wilhelm Hammersoy. Hammersoy was born and grew up in Denmark. He is best known for his poetic domestic motifs, multicolor tone, and deep and introverted psychological absorption. Unlike the mainstream impressionism and expressionism in the 19th and 20th century Europe, Hammersoy's unique style made him an individualist at his time and even in the history of art. The artist liked to use muted and desaturated color palettes, especially black, white, gray, and yellow. His home in Copenhagen and his wife Ida are two most common subjects in his work over. Hammersworth's interior is always scantily furnished. He puts emphasis on the light and the architectural aspect of the space, and is dedicated to creating a balanced composition and quality on canvas. In his interview with the Home magazine in 1909, Hammersoy said, A few good objects can make the room look better than a bunch of mediocre objects. In this painting, you can almost feel like you are sitting alone on the couch at the corner of a Scandinavian household in the late afternoon. When you look up, the sunlight comes through the window and softens the hard and cold lines of the furniture, giving the room a velvety texture. Many people describe Hammersoy's painting as melancholic, lonely, and detached. But from the way Hammersoy sees and depicts his wife Ida, even though without any eye contact and interaction, I can always feel the painter's transcendent love for his wife from the tender brush stroke and tranquil atmosphere. Wireless company is also priceless. There is always something special in looking at the one you love. Hammersoy's depiction of Ida reminds me of Pablo Neruda's love poem. I like for you to be still, and you seem far away. It sounds as though you are lamenting, a butterfly queen like a dog, and you hear me from far away, and my voice does not reach you. Let me come to be still in your silence, and let me talk to you with your silence. This is bright as a lamp, simple as a rain. You are like the night, with its stillness and constellations. Your silence is that of a star, as remote and candid. Hammersoy called his work the banality of everyday life, but after over a hundred years, we can still resonate with a sense of contemplation and peacefulness through these mundane topics. Perhaps for most of us, banality is the norm of our lives, and tranquility is our ultimate pursuit. Thank you.